I offer these every week, along with a short teaching. Just click the subscribe link below to be notified through YouTube when I post the recording of the latest one. Or if you'd like to join me live, which I'd really welcome, go down into the description section below and follow the link along to be able to sign up for free. So help yourself find a posture that is supportive of you, that can help you stay alert, as physically comfortable as possible, and in which there is as little basis as possible for feeling discontented, frustrated, uh, uneasy. So be nice to your body. <laughs> Maybe give it a little hug for starters. You know, all right, all right, friend. Let's settle in here. Okay, so with your eyes open or closed, take a couple of moments to be aware of the place you're in. Sort of scanning it or imagining it so that you can settle into it, so that it can become familiar to you and you can feel safe within it. so that you can let go of the need to do anything in the place where you are. And as we meditate, you can be mindful of any sense of pressured, contracted drivenness. You can be aware of any sense of push or must, insistence toward anything. And you can keep letting go of all that. Contentment is a very direct pathway to a mind generally free of craving and thus suffering. There might be pain around the edges. There could be emotions like sadness or moral outrage or anxiety around the edges, while still in the depths of your being, in the core of your being, there can be a feeling of there's enough in the present. You can be content. So paying attention in this meditation to the sense of discontent, Releasing it, releasing related feelings of disappointment, frustration, not enoughness, as an experiment, an invitation to find out what it's like to experience a basic sense of well-being in the present for no with no wish for anything more. That's what I mean by contentment. So 
So with all this in mind, <clears throat> if it's comfortable for you, let attention move through your body as you gradually get a sense of your body as a whole while you breathe. Let your attention stay with breathing and the sense of your body. Letting go of any need to do anything else. Your breathing may be becoming softer, slower. Your mind becoming quieter. Staying with breathing and the sense of the body. And as you gradually settle in, you can, from time to time, touch upon feelings of gratitude, thankfulness. Perhaps simple images that help you be happy. <clears throat> you're not chasing after any of these things. It's more like you're just inviting what's authentic. Genuine feelings of appreciation, gladness, gratitude, perhaps love, sort of coloring your mind, shading it.
you can both remain aware of your body while also becoming increasingly rested in positive emotions of various kinds, including simple and mild ones, like appreciating, being thankful, being happy, even a little bit. Having a sense of love. As a meditative technique, if you can deliberately, as I'm inviting you, contact a sense of gratitude or gladness or appreciation, that's beautiful. And you can take those feelings as objects of meditation and becoming absorbed in them as they are absorbed into you. If that's too much of a stretch, well, alternately, as a meditative technique, you can turn more toward tranquility, which has subtle positive emotions in it. A simple sense of being increasingly tranquil, enjoyably tranquil. I'll be quiet for a bit as you explore what is it like to meditate in an emotionally positive experience to the extent you can access it, such as more active forms of happiness, like gratitude and appreciation, or subtler forms, such as tranquility. It's okay to turn toward these wholesome, enjoyable experiences in meditation.
This is a particular category of meditation in which we are bringing into awareness as best we can authentic experiences of various kinds and becoming increasingly absorbed in them. We've started with experiences of gratitude and appreciation or perhaps tranquility. So that we're kind of marinating in emotionally positive experiences as our objects of meditation. To go to the next step in this meditation, you can let more active forms of positive emotion move to the background of awareness and find your way home increasingly to a simple sense of being content in the present. This involves letting go of any disappointment or frustration or drivenness in the present. And in the space that remains, having a simple sense of well-being with no wish for anything else. There's a, there's a falling away of craving and what's left is not a big blank, but a sense of contentment. One aspect of contentment is that we're not chasing anything in the future. We can know that after meditating, we can still pursue various goals with a background of contentment. But during the meditation, we let go of becoming and rest in being. Being content, satisfied in the present. So I'll be quiet now as you explore as best you can what it's like to let go of aspects of discontentment like frustration and disappointment and drivenness and find yourself home to a potentially very beautiful, peaceful, sense of being simply content. You might think to yourself, I am content. Really, this is enough. I can feel it. I can feel content. Or whatever is good for you. As best you can, you are increasingly taking contentment as your object of meditation, sinking into it as it sinks into you.
in the last couple minutes of the meditation. If it's at all helpful to you, you might lightly, gently imagine what it would be like to do some of the activities of your life while feeling already content. Some of the conversations, some of the tasks, housework, raising children, while feeling already content. Thank you.